Hi everybody, um, as promised, um, I am re-recording a live workout that we tried to do this afternoon for those of you that were um, here kind of bearing with us as we try to work out some technical difficulties. Thank you again so much for your patience. Um, if you weren't able to make it at two, not a problem. You actually didn't miss out on much. <laughs> we got halfway through the workout before um, it froze on us. So. So like I said, um, I am pre-recording it. It is from going to be from the beginning, the exact workout that I had planned for this afternoon. Um, it's uh, an essential mat workout, so no props are needed, just yourself in the mat. Um, it's intensified a little bit, so it's some of the moves that you guys should be used to if you've taken a mat class with me before, um, but some of it just, just amp it a little bit to give your body a little bit more of a workout. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to film more um, like this tomorrow that we can just post on YouTube for you guys to access at your own time um, and we've made some adjustments and we can hopefully get the live working um, maybe by Friday or possibly next week um, and maybe get on a, a Monday Wednesday Friday type schedule with that but I will I will let you guys know when that happens um, before now I just want to get you moving uh, so you guys can enjoy this workout um, we're going to start seated. I'm going to go ahead and take my sweater off, but I have a feeling I'll probably get warm. Toss it off to the side. We're just going to start seated up as tall as you can be with your knees bent and your feet about six bones width apart. We're going to start with some breathing. We're going to take a big inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, we're going to nod the chin, just round the spine up and over the thighs. Just getting a nice stretch through the back. And that way, while we're here, we can focus on that breath going into the backs and sides of the rib cage, which tend to be underutilized areas. So we're going to take a nice big inhale through the nose and feel the breath expand into the back and side of the rib cage, almost like you're pressing your rib cage into your shirt. And then exhale out through the mouth as if you were blowing out a steady stream of birthday candles. Let's do two more big breaths like that, a big inhale. And then exhale, one more time, a big inhale through the nose. And this time on the exhale, let's stack the spine up nice and tall from bottom to top. Let's do that one more time. Take a big inhale through the nose. On the exhale, let's nod the chin and round the spine forward over the thighs. Staying for a big inhale. Exhale. Let's just do this one more time here, a big inhale. And then on the exhale, let's stack that spine up nice and tall. And let's move onto your back. And we're gonna find a neutral position through the spine. So we have our pubic bone top of the hip on the same plane. You feel your back ribs have a gentle weight on the mat and your neck and your shoulders are in a place where you're holding no tension through the body. We're gonna move now from neutral to imprint with our breath. So we're getting some movement through the pelvis and the lower back. We're gonna take an inhale through the nose, but this time on the exhale, you're connecting through the obliques that will create a small movement through the pelvis and the lower back. Because as you connect through your obliques, the pelvis will move gently back towards your rib cage, providing more stability through your lower back. We're gonna take an inhale to stay, and then on the exhale, we're just gently moving back to that neutral, so it's a really small movement. Let's do it again. Take an inhale, exhale to imprint, connecting through those obliques. Take an inhale to stay, exhale, return that pelvis back to neutral. Last time, take an inhale here, exhale to imprint, take an inhale to stay, and then exhale, return back to neutral. Holding neutral, we're gonna go into hip release, starting with that left leg. We're gonna inhale, drop the knee to the side, and then reach it straight out in front, rotate inwards, and then pull it up. It's an inhale to open and reach, keeping everything stable. Exhale to rotate in and pull up. Two more. Let's just open and reach out, rotate in and pull up. One more time. Getting that nice movement through the hip. Rotate in and pull up. Let's move on to that right side. Return out and reach straight. 
rotate in and fold up. Again, we turn out and reach. There should be no moving, no shaking through the pelvis. Two more. Turn out and reach. Good, rotate in and pull up. Last time. Turn out and reach. Rotate in and pull up. From here, let's move onto your side for spine rotation. So think of lining your spine up with the back of the mat so it's nice and straight. You can have that bottom arm bent to support your neck, then that top arm reaching straight out in line with your shoulder. On the inhale, we lift the arm up towards the ceiling. On the exhale from the rib cage, you're gonna rotate everything back. We're gonna stay here for a nice big inhale through the nose. On the exhale, we're gonna try to reach a little bit further. We're gonna do that one more time. Take a big inhale through the nose. On the exhale, we're gonna move the whole shape back to the side and then keep the rib cage stable, just lower the arm from the shoulder. Let's do that one more time. We inhale, lift. We exhale, let's rotate back. Stay here for an inhale. Stay here for an exhale, try to reach a little further. Don't just drop to the ground. Take another big inhale. Exhale, let's move everything back to the side and then lower the arm down from the shoulder. Let's move over to the other side. You can repeat this. So again, lining that spine up with the back of the mat. Knees are bent, bottom arm supporting the neck, top arm reaching straight. I'm gonna move forward a little bit so I don't hit that shelf. We're gonna inhale, lift the top arm towards the ceiling. On the exhale, we're going to rotate back. We're gonna stay here for an inhale. Don't forget on that exhale, try to reach a little further. Breathe into the stretch. Take another big inhale. Exhale, come back to the side. Lower the arm down from the shoulder. One more time like this. Inhale, lift. Exhale, we rotate back. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, reach back a little more. Stay here for another inhale. Exhale, let's come back to the side. Lower the arm down. Let's find yourselves onto your hands and knees, and we're gonna articulate the entire spine. From here, we're taking an inhale through the nose. On the exhale, we're gonna cat stretch. We're gonna tuck the tail. We're gonna round through that lower back, the middle back, the upper back, the head is gonna drop. We're gonna stay for an inhale, breathing into the rib cage. Exhale, we release from tail to head. Moving through neutral, into supported extension. And again, take an inhale through the nose. Exhale, let's tuck the tail, rounding. Tail all the way through to head. Stay for a big inhale. Exhale, we release from tail. Through neutral, into extension. Last time, inhale here. Exhale, tucking the tail. Move through the middle back, move through the upper back. Think of pushing the floor away. Then let that head drop. Take an inhale. Exhale, release from tail all the way through. So the head is that last thing comes up and you can continue lifting into a little extension and then come back to neutral. We're gonna find ourselves back onto your back. So we're kind of rolling around a little on the mat just to warm up the body. Knees are going to be bent again. We're neutral. Going into hip rolls. So we're going to take an inhale through the nose. This time on the exhale, we roll through imprint, but really focus on that movement through the lower back. And then use the glutes. Press into the feet to roll the pelvis up. You're ending on the widest part of your shoulder blades. Take an inhale to stay. And then on the exhale, melt down through that upper back that middle back, that lower back, moving through your imprint, controlling that return to neutral. Uh, again, we inhale, exhale to imprint, squeeze the glutes, press down as you roll up. Take an inhale to stay, exhale, melt back down, all the way through that imprint, returning to neutral, we're doing it one more time. Exhale to imprint, Connect through the glutes. Press down through the feet. Reach the knees forward in front of you. 
Take an inhale to stay, and on the exhale, melt down through the spine. And start to float the arms up towards the ceiling. As you return that pelvis back to neutral, we're going to mobilize through the shoulder joint. We're going to inhale to protract. And then on the exhale, we come through neutral to retract. And again, so we're just gliding the shoulder blades away from the spine, away from the mat. And then moving them a little closer to the spine, closer to the mat. Watch that you don't pop the ribcage in the process. One more time, we protract, and then we retract, stopping neutral and center, going into our arm circles. We inhale, reach back, mobilizing through the shoulder joint. We circle around, come back to the hip. Two more, inhale up and back. Exhale, circle around. One more time, inhale up and back. Exhale, circle around, let's reverse. Inhale out to the side, back overhead. Lift up and lower down, two more. Out, reach, lift the arms up and lower down. Last time, out, back, lift and lower down. Circle the hands around. Let's bring them behind the head, getting ready for our ab prep. Taking an inhale, exhale, we curl up, lifting the head, neck and shoulders. We're just moving through the upper spine, keeping that pelvis neutral, and then inhale, release all the way back. And again, it's an exhale to lift. We're doing this on two breath. It's an inhale to release. Remember that head is following the line of the spine. So as you come up, that gaze is just beyond the knees, not up towards the ceiling or at your belly button. Inhale, release back. One more time. Exhale, use the abdominals to draw the rib cage towards the pelvis. Inhale, release all the way back, adding on with pulses. So we're going to come all the way up. Give ourselves a little extra challenge. Go back halfway, do one small lift, and then release all the way back. It's a ladder, so we're going to do that twice now. We curl up as high as we can. We come back halfway, two small lifts. One. Two, release all the way back. Exhale, lift all the way up. Back halfway, three lifts. Three, two, one. Go all the way back, all the way up. Back halfway for four. Little lift, four from the rib cage. Three, lift two, lift one. Go all the way back, all the way up. Last time for five, five, lift four, lift three, lift two, lift one, going all the way back. Grab behind your knee, come on up. We're going to flip onto your stomach, warming up the back of the body with our breaststroke preps. So we have your legs reaching long, okay? Think of them. Just reaching back in line with the sits bones, parallel. Elbows are bent, hands are in line with your shoulders. Let's have them about as wide as the mat. Okay, your nose is just hovering. Pubic bone gently presses down. Think of the belly button gently pulling up. And then just have energy and connection through the glutes. All of this is gonna help stabilize and support your lower back. You should feel no pinching or any pain there as we move through the upper spine, okay? So start, on the inhale, we roll the shoulders back. On the exhale, we lengthen through the spine, and then we peel that upper back off. We take an inhale to stay, and then on the exhale, we lengthen through the spine, and we turn the shoulders down. And again, we inhale, we retract through the shoulders first, then it's a lengthen, and as much as you're lengthening forward, you're peeling up. Bottom rib stays down, the chest reaches forward. Take an inhale to stay, and then exhale, lengthen through the spine. Return the shoulders back down. Again, inhale, roll back. Exhale, it's a lengthen and lift. It's an inhale to stay. It's an exhale to return down. One more time, inhale, roll back. Exhale, lengthen and lift. Inhale to stay, 
Good, exhale, returning back down. Now the hands are gonna come right underneath the forehead. And now the body's gonna lift just to a hover, okay? We're gonna take an inhale, pull the shoulders down. Now on the exhale, we're lengthening through the spine and you're reaching so far forward that your body has nowhere to go but up. But we're literally just skimming the mat, pulling the abdominals up. We stay for our breath and then we lower back down. Again, inhale, pull the shoulders away. Think ears reaching away from shoulders, shoulders away from ears, abdominals pulling up, and then return back down, working those muscles through the mid and upper back. Two more, pull those shoulders down. It's an exhale to lengthen and lift up. It's an inhale to stay, exhale to lower down. Last time, inhale, pull the shoulders down. Exhale to lengthen and lift. Take an inhale to stay. It's an exhale to lower down. Let's push back into a little shell stretch, giving our upper back a little bit of a stretch. We're gonna stay for a big inhale. Stay for an exhale. All right, let's find ourselves back onto our back we're going to get right into it with the hundred so we're lying back kind of let you choose your own place you want to be in i'll give you a few options but let's all try to find your imprint we're going to bring your legs to a tabletop position now you could stay here with your arms just hovering off the mat you could curl up lifting your head neck and shoulders or if you feel comfortable here, you can really challenge that imprint and reach those legs out in a long diagonal. Picking a place to be, I'm actually gonna keep my knees bent today and we're going into the hundred. We in two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. So we're holding the torso nice and stable, but challenging by the pumping of the arms. Inhale for five, then exhale for five. Inhale, three, four, five, we're pumping from the shoulders, four, five, try to keep that torso nice and stable, three, four, five, we inhale, four, five, try to curl a little higher if you can, inhale, three, four, five, exhale, three, four, five, good, in, three, four, five, exhale, four, five, last two sets, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, the last one, three, four, five, exhale, three, four, five, try to hold and curl a little higher for four, three, two, one, grab behind the knees, peel the body all the way up. So we're sitting, legs are together, pelvis is nice and vertical, but we're gonna reach the arms over the knees and then round that spine up and over the thighs, like we're making a C curve, okay? From it, taking an inhale here, on the exhale, we're rolling the pelvis away from the thigh. So we're rolling that C shape towards the back, getting that lower back almost down, and then use the upper abdominals to bring the shape back forward. It's an exhale to roll back. It's an inhale to return forward. Exhale, use those lower abdominals to get you back. And I think drawing the rib cage down to get you forward. One more time, we're rolling back. Inhale, returning forward, adding the arms. We're rolling back. Now challenge the shape of the spine. Lift the arms, feet should not lift. Lower them down and then return back forward. Exhale to come back. It's an inhale up, exhale down, inhale forward. Again, we roll back. It's a lift, keep that rapid hug of the rib cage, a lower and come forward. This time we roll back, it's a lift. We're not gonna come forward. We're gonna hold it here and try to roll all the way back, down, legs straighten out, arms reach back. From here we go into the roll up. It's an inhale to lift the arms. Exhale to nod that chin, we're rolling up from head all the way through that imprint to where we reach over those toes. Begin to roll the pelvis back away from the thighs. So we're getting that lower back down, moving through imprint, that middle 
the upper, and then we release the arms and shoulders back. We inhale, lift. From the head, we start to peel up, moving through your imprint. Continue to reach forward, enjoy that stretch. We roll back. Feel the whole front of the body open up, and then release all the way through. Again, inhale, lift. Nod that chin. Use the abdominals to peel up, but also just feel that length through the spine as you come forward. Begin to roll back. Feel the back of the body starting to contract as the front of the body lengthens as you control that return. One more time, inhale, lift. Front of the body working to get you all the way up. This time we're gonna stay back. This is that last one. Try to really scoop. Stay lifted, don't just collapse down to the mat. Hold that body. Find that long line, hands come down. Now we should have that nice stabilized pelvic position. We're holding neutral. And let's take the right leg and bring it straight up. The straight leg doesn't feel great for you because of a tight back or tight hamstring, so you can bend that knee. You could also bend your left knee if you're really tight through the hip flexors. So find a position, whatever it looks like for you, that you can maintain in holding neutral pelvis. And then we're gonna circle that right leg. On the inhale, we cross it over the body. Exhale, we circle around and pull it up. We inhale, cross. Exhale, circle around and lift. Two more, inhale, cross. So the leg is moving, but the pelvis is staying. So especially that left hip, feel like an anchor weight, keeping it down, we reverse. We drop, circle, pull up. Inhale, drop, circle around, lift. Two more, drop, circle around, up. One more, drop, lift, bend the knee. Reach that leg nice and long. Let's take that left leg, bring it up. A lot tighter through my left side, so I'm actually gonna keep my knee bent here. We start crossing over the midline. So cross inwards, circle around and lift. Watch that your thigh is staying nice and parallel. Try not to rotate through the hip joint. We're just making a big circle. Down, around, lift. One more. In, down, around, up. Let's reverse. We drop away. Circle around, pull up. Keep that right hip down. Circle around, lift. It's really hard when that left leg moves to the left side. Up. One more time. Drop. Circle around, lift. We're going to bend the knee. Going to grab behind the leg. We're going to peel up. We're gonna have the legs either straight out in front. Okay, this again, too much for the hamstrings. You can also keep the knees bent. And we're gonna make a genie position with the arms. We're sitting up as tall as you possibly can. I want you to imagine like a frame around the body and we're gonna stay within that frame and rotate the spine. On the exhale, we're doing three rotations to the right. We spiral for three, going as far as you can. A little more, a little more, then inhale, come center. Now to the left, three, two, one, inhale, center, to the right, three. Use the obliques to create the movement. One, inhale, exhale to the left, two, one, inhale, one more time each side, three, two, one, grow a little bit taller, last time, three, two, one, inhale, we're gonna now slide your sits bones towards your heels. We're gonna pull the legs in. We're gonna create a little ball shape. So I want you to think of squeezing those inner thighs, grab onto the outer part of the ankles and keep those eyes right at your knees, okay? So you're keeping the shape of the spine the whole time. You're using those lower abdominals to scoop, rolling you back to the shoulder blades. Then we're coming up, balancing just back of the sits bones and holding the breath. It's an inhale to get you back, 
Exhale, once you hit the shoulder blades, come up and balance. Inhale, keep the shape the whole time. Scoop through those lower abdominals, back to the shoulder blades, up, hold. Let's do it one more time. In, exhale, up, hold. Now try to keep it here. If you can keep those toes off the mat, even better. We're gonna roll yourself all the way back to the mat. The hands are gonna come behind those knees. We find imprint, bring those legs right up to tabletop. Try to hold it here. If you feel sensitivity through the neck and shoulders, you can totally lower the head and go at your own pace through this abdominal series. We're gonna start with single leg stretch. We're reaching that left leg long, keeping that right knee bent. On the exhale, we switch. We reach and reach. Try not to go too low with that leg. Think of reaching out, not necessarily down. Because the whole purpose is to keep that torso nice and stable against the movement of the legs. Reach for four, for three, two, one. Pull them together. Hands are coming behind the head. Elbows are wide, just the upper body. It's an exhale. We rotate and lift to the right. Inhale, center. We rotate and lift left. Inhale, center. Think just the rib cage. We rotate, then slight lift. Center. We're thinking armpit to knee, not elbow. We're speeding it up. Right. Exhale, left. Right. Left. Four more. Four. Move three. Move two, move one, stopping center, reaching those arms towards the ankles, double leg stretch. On the exhale, arms and legs reach away from the middle of the body, then circle around, pull those knees in. You see my shoulders do not lower as I reach my arms and legs away, circle around and pull in. Two more, exhale out, inhale in. Last time, exhale, reach. Inhale in, last set of this abdominal series. Legs shoot up. Grab onto that right thigh, left leg reaches long. It's a reach, reach, control the pass through. Reach, reach, switch. Exhale, reach, reach. For four, keep it controlled. This is two, this is one, come center. Bend the knees, you deserve it. Go ahead, lower the head, pull those knees into your chest. If that felt hard, it's supposed to be. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm also out of breath. Whew. All right, we're gonna bring the feet down, have your hands down by your side, neutral through the spine and pelvis. We're gonna go into a hip lift series. From here, we take an inhale. We're not rolling through the spine, but we're gonna connect through the glutes. Press down through the hands, lift the pelvis up. Inhale, lower down halfway, kind of like our ab prep. Three pulses up. Three, two, you're gonna hold it all the way up on that last one. The right leg is gonna lift the tabletop. We lower it down. The left leg lifts to tabletop. We lower it down, and then we're gonna break and lower the whole pelvis down. Do that whole series again. We inhale, exhale, squeeze, lift. Inhale, lower down, halfway. Exhale, three lifts, three. Press up, two. Press up, hold. Now the left leg first. Left leg floats up. Now keep the pelvis lifted as you lower it down. Right leg lifts up. Keep the pelvis lifted as you lower it down. Break and lower the whole pelvis down. One more time, squeeze, lift. We lower down halfway. Three lifts, three. We lift two. We lift, hold. Right leg first. We pick it up. Lower down. We pick it up. Lower down. Go ahead, break. And lower that whole pelvis down. Grab behind the knee. We're peeling up. We're gonna bring it over onto our stomach again. 
working through the back of the body. Let's bring those legs now so they're laterally rotated, so they're turned out, heels facing each other, toes apart. Have them about as wide as the mat. Let's have those hands stacked and your forehead right on top of them. Try to relax through that upper body, okay? So pull those shoulders down. You should feel a nice sense of width through the front of the chest and the back. Pubic bone is gently pressing down. Abdominals are pulling up. You, again, you should feel nothing happening through the lower back here. We're gonna start with the right leg. We lift that thigh off the mat. It can be a super small movement. If you feel any change through your lower back, you're going too high and then lower it down. Now that left leg, think of lengthening, connect, lift. Inhale, lower down, right side. Lengthen, squeeze, lift. Inhale, lower down. Left side, lengthen, squeeze, lift. Inhale, lower, this should feel like a nice stretch to the front of the hip, yeah? And then lower down, left side, lift. We lower down, both legs, lengthen, squeeze, lift. Inhale down, exhale, reach. And lower down, two more, lift. Inhale, lower. Last time, lift and lower. We're going to bend the knees now, bringing the heels together and the toes apart. Okay, so we're in like a frog position with that lower body. Still gently pressing that pubic bone down, pulling that belly button up. Okay, you should feel that nice stretch all the way through the quad. All we're doing is that heel squeeze prone. So we're gonna connect through the glutes, turning them on. We're gently squeezing the heels. And then all I want you to do is think of turning off the glutes and then relaxing the heels. Exhale, connect through the back of the body. Kind of gonna feel like a humming sensation through all those muscles in the back. And then turn everything off, but still keeping that support coming through the front. So this is one of those exercises that kind of what you put into it is what you're gonna get out of it, okay? Again, exhale, turn on the glutes. Squeeze those heels. Pull up through those abdominals. And then just turn off the glutes. One more time. Exhale, we squeeze. Squeeze the heels from here. Keeping the glutes turned on, we're going to pick that upper body up just to a hover. We're going to reach the arms out to the side, so we're making a T. Okay, so again, the whole back of the body is on. Spine muscles, glutes are engaged. We have those heels gently squeezed. Now we're going to press the arms back by the hips as we bring that upper back up. To think of that breaststroke prep number one position, that slight extension. Reach the arms out, come back to that long low hover. And again, press the arms back, reaching that chest forward. Lower body stays the same, we're just moving that upper back. And then reach out, come back to that hover. Again, press back. Think of again, lengthening so far forward that you have nowhere else to go but slightly up. And then press those arms back out. One more time. Reaching back for that long extension and then bringing the arms back forward. Lower them down, straighten those legs out. We can push right back one more time to a nice shell stretch back. We're gonna come up to sitting. I think we passed that halfway mark. You guys are doing great. We're gonna have the arms out to the side Feet are flexed, they're about as wide as the mat. We're gonna go in this saw. So we're gonna rotate the spine over to the left side. So we have that right pinky finger angled towards that left baby toe. You're gonna to nod the chin. You're gonna round the spine up and over. So don't think of going down. Think of reaching out, like opposition. Someone's reaching their fingertips or pulling them away from each other. Reach that back, left arm back. And as you reach it, feel it pull your spine back up and then move right through to center. Let's go to the right. We spiral up. 
Don't speed through this. Nod the chin, get that nice stretch, feel that reach. Fingertips reaching away from each other. Pull that back arm as you stack up tail to head and then move back center. We inhale, exhale. Inhale to stack back up. Exhale to move center. One more time, it's an inhale to spiral up. Exhale to rotate or to round and flex. Sorry, you're already rotated. Inhale to stack back up. Exhale to come center. Slide the legs together. We're gonna bend the knees again. We're almost going into that half rollback position again. And we're gonna add a little more spinal articulation going into neck pull. Hands are in front of the forehead. We start up nice and tall. We take an inhale through the nose. On the exhale, we're gonna roll that pelvis back. So we're rolling just off those sits bones. It's a little harder here with those hands lifted because you have more weight, okay, that your abdominals are controlling. Take an inhale to stay. On the exhale, round that shape back over the thighs and then stack up tail to head. And again, on that exhale, rolling back. I want to see the front of your throat go. I want to see the chest. Don't collapse the body. Take an inhale to stay. Exhale, we round forward over the thighs. And then we're stacking up nice and tall. Two more. Exhale, scoop and roll back. Inhale to stay. Exhale, we round forward over the thighs. Stack up nice and tall. Last time, exhale, scoop, roll back. Inhale, exhale, we round forward. Inhale, we stack back up. We're gonna move onto your side for your side leg series. So we're gonna think of lining yourself up, okay, with the back of the mat. So you're in a nice long line here. When you peek down, if you were to peek your eyes down, you should be able to see your toes, okay? But then make sure that you bring your eye line back up and you're looking straight forward, right? So your head is in a long line with your spine, okay? Also think of opposition. It's challenging, right, to balance here. You wanna think of reaching the head and toes away from each other, connecting through the glutes and the abdominals, and then keeping a little space, if you can, almost between that bottom oblique and the mat, okay? Everyone together, you can bring your palm onto the top of your pelvis, and then where your middle finger lands, okay? It's fairly low. This is around where that hip joint is. As we go through the series, I want you to think of moving from where your middle finger is, stabilizing from the pelvis, okay? So from here, we're gonna point we lift that leg only up about hip height, right? So where that finger is. And then we flex and lower back down. So it's a small movement. We point, think of pushing up. We flex lower. That's it. We point lift. We flex lower. We point lift. We flex lower. Four more. Four. Good, down. Just moving from the hip. Everything else stays quiet. Two, good. One, we're gonna hold it here, doing little circles forward. Four, two, three, four, five, six. You can see I'm struggling with that balance. And reverse, going up and back for six. Up and back, five four, three, you got it, two, one, hold it here, bring the leg down, now squeezing those inner thighs, both legs are going to lengthen and lift, inhale, lower down, again, reach them away, they just will float up, inhale, lower down, uh, again, it's an exhale up. It's an inhale lower. Three more. Three. 
inhale down we lift for two good inhale down we lift for one good inhale down we're going to come on up we're going to swing ourselves over to the other side we're going to repeat this so let's find that long line again legs reaching long peek down at the toes so you can see them so we know the legs aren't too far behind you right we have that little space between that bottom oblique and the mat and then we can find where that hip joint is connect through the glutes and the abdominals to help stabilize the torso and then that top leg points up just to height we flex and lower point reach up flex lower we lift and down Make sure those eyes try to keep them straight ahead. That head nice and long. Remember, it's an extension of your spine for four. Down, three. Down, two. This one we hold, we circle it forward. We go forward. Two, three. Good, four. Try to keep that pelvis nice and stable. Six. Stop and reverse. Going back. Two, three, four, five, six. Stop, lower all the way down. Both legs stay connected. On the exhale, they lift. Inhale, they lower. Exhale, we reach up. Inhale, lower down again exhale up good inhale lower three more three inhale down lift for two good inhale down last one lift inhale lower we're going to come up to your hands and your knees going into a swimming prep so we're maintaining that neutral position through the spine, abdominals pulling up, we have a sense of stability through the scapula. We take an inhale through the nose. On the exhale, we're gonna reach that right arm and that left leg out. We're just stabilizing through the center of the body. Again, feel that sense of opposition and then pull it back in. It's not about height here, it's about length. Exhale. We press. Think of pushing down through that right arm, connecting through that left glute. That's it. And then inhale, pull it in. Right side, right arm, I'm sorry, left leg, reaching out. Nice, fine, and connect through that long line. Inhale down. Exhale, left arm right leg think of pulling that belly button inwards and upwards but you're not changing that structure of the spine and then pull in one more time each side it's an exhale to reach good inhale down last time exhale out use that breath inhale come in curling those toes under Keeping the shape of the spine the same. On the exhale now, we're floating those knees up for that leg pull front prep. And then we inhale, lower down. Again, exhale, float those knees up. Inhale, lower down. That's it, try to keep that head in line with the spine. We have two more. Exhale, lengthen. Good, keep that nice neutral position. Inhale, come down. One more time. Exhale, lift. Good. Inhale, lower. Pull those knees together. We're going to bring them back so they're behind the hip. And we're down in our modified push-up position. We're going to finish with some push-ups. We're going to go down on a count of three. Up on one. Glutes are toned. Abdominals pulled in, head is long. We go down for three. One, 
two, three, push the floor away. We go down, 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 push away one more time like this. Down, 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 push away. We're gonna nod the chin, we're gonna round the spine back. Going into almost like a partial shell stretch. And then we're gonna articulate the spine from tail to head back, doing the same sequence of down on three, up on one, but this time elbows are angling straight back for a tricep focus. Down, 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 push away. Go down, 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 push away. One more time, down, 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 push away, nod the chin, round back. We have one more set, we're gonna tuck the tail, we round the spine, coming back to that modified push-up position, but we're gonna now slide the hands together. So we have our index finger and our thumbs together like we're making a triangle for more of a chest focus. Going down for three, two, one, push away. Again, down, 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 push away. Last time, down, 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 push away. Nod the chin, go ahead, round back. But this time you can push yourself all the way back. Going into a nice shell stretch. And just hold it there, reach those arms forward. Take a big inhale through the nose. Take a big exhale. One more time, another big inhale. Another big exhale. We're gonna to come to the center of the mat. Let's find a mermaid position. We can be here. This doesn't feel right for the hips. You can bring it a little bit more narrow so you're just sitting on one hip. And if you're familiar with the reformer, um, with the mermaid exercise that we sometimes do at the end to kind of mobilize the spine, um, we're gonna kind of do a, a take of that. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna lift the left arm up. We're gonna do a nice side bend over. We're gonna rotate, okay, to that right side. Try to place both hands down, push away from the floor and feel the spine round. Almost like you're getting that nice stretch, right? Right in between the shoulder blades. Begin to walk the hands back towards your thigh as you lift the chest up. Trying to get a little bit of extension and then walk the hands back forward. You can push away around one more time. Find yourself back to the side. Let's bring yourself back up to vertical and then get a nice counter stretch the other way. Let's do that one more time. Come up, lift and side bend. Again, think of going up and over. We can rotate, hands come down. Think of pushing away from the mat, get a nice stretch. Walk the hands back, muscle lifting up through the chest. Bring them back forward, push away, get a nice stretch again. Find yourself back to the side, push up. Let's get a nice counter stretch the other way. Oh, that felt good. Let's do that on the other side. Okay, we have our mermaid position. Um, also, if you're tight through the hips too, you can also like stick a pillow, stick a block, you could fold your mat over. And I think they get the hips up a little bit higher as well if this position either isn't um, comfortable for you. Uh, you could also do it just sitting with your legs crossed as well. We're gonna inhale, lift that top arm up. We're gonna do a nice side bend. We're gonna rotate, hands come down, push away and round. Walk the hands back a little as you lift the spine up. And then bring the hands back forward, push away, rounding through the spine. Coming back to the side, lifting up. Get that counter stretch. And let's do that one more time. Try not to rush through this. 
give your body a chance to just stretch, kind of come into its own. So try to keep your mind focused on the workout and just taking time for you, especially just during this time where nothing seems to be in control. Lift up through the chest. Come back forward, push away, get that nice stretch through that upper back. Come back to the side, lifting up. Side stretch over, get that nice counter stretch. And coming back through to center. Awesome job, ladies. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Um, I hope it gave you a little break and a little bit of time for you and time to reconnect with your body um, during, again, like I said, this, this crazy time. Um, again, for those of you that were here earlier today um, and it didn't work out, thank you for your patience and for all of your support. Um, any of you that have left emails um, or commented, it, it truly means the world. Um, and as we're through so much uncertainty with trying to figure out all this virtual stuff, um, it really just means a lot to know that you guys are um, excited and I hopefully can bring more workouts like this to you. Um, again, we have plans of, of creating workouts with different props and also um, expanding to all different levels just as if we would do if we were in the studio. So there's more coming your way. We are working on it. Um, but I hope this gave you a little bit of what you needed for for tonight or whenever you get a chance to do this. Thank you guys so much. Bye.